God dang it, we're lucky. God bless America. Man, this is all pieces of shells. This is all zebra mussels. Boom, done with all of the engine stuff. You know what they say about Texas weather. If you don't like it, wait 24 hours. It's 80 degrees today. It's gonna be 26 this weekend. Time to go winterize the boat. It is gonna hit 80 degrees today. Get your basic tools. Nothing too crazy. I'll show you what the steps look like when we get there. All right, here's where we store the boat. Let's see if I can remember where she is. My kids call our boat Kobe, by the way. It's a cobalt, they call it Kobe. This is a Lexus, they call it Lexi. Where is she? I think she's right over here. There she is. I always forget how big this thing is. It's a 30 foot Cobalt 292 with an added on three foot extended swim platform. Very tall on the trailer and on the water. It's really long, but Lexi, you still do a good job pulling it. Dang birds, why are you pooping on my boat? Oh, poor Kobe. He's so dirty. I gotta wash you up. At least the inside stayed clean under the cover. There's that beautiful big block. If you want one of these intakes for your boat, uh, I make them for the Volvo 8.2 um, liter, 502 cubic inch engines and also for the mercruiser 7.4 mpi 454 engines i'll put the link for those in the description you can get them on amazon uh where, where i sell them all right let's get this thing drained i like to start with the uh main hoses that way most of the fluid gets drained this one right up here we're gonna unclamp that guy let it sit and drain and then that's the water pump pulley down there there's two hoses Right behind that, we're gonna get to those two, remove those and let those drain as well. And then we'll get to the other drain points. All right, that one's almost drained. I'm gonna let that keep going while we do the other hoses. Now on to this side of the motor. And right behind your water pump, you're gonna have two hoses, this one and this one. And we're gonna undo those. One pulls water in from your out drive or whatever your water pickup is. And the other one pushes that uh, water into the engine and the manifolds. So let's get these two undone and we'll let them drain as well. Make sure you don't lose these clamps. I usually slide them way up onto the hose so they stay put while the hoses uh, dangle. Cause if it falls under there, I'm too big to be crawling underneath this motor. Those two are off and drained. Next, we are going to follow this hose, if you can see here, it comes down right there, crosses over to the other side of the motor uh, to another pipe over there. We're gonna follow it to the other side and get that one unhooked. This one's gonna be hard to show you, but I'll try here. So if you go down, that's the hose right there and it clamps on right here, way under there. Kind of hard to get to, depending on what your engine bay and your bilge area looks like, but. I'm gonna un unhook that clamp, slide up the hose as well, and let that one drain. That one is off and drained. Next, we're gonna move on to the manifolds. The manifold drains are sometimes different depending on which motor you have and how it's set up. On this one, you've got a cap right here on the end of this tube. We remove that cap and the water drains out of the manifolds through this plenum. So we're gonna get that removed on this side and on the other side. I got this one off and I got the other side off as well. Before I move on to the next part, I wanna show you guys something. Um, if you followed any of the videos, you saw the one where the uh, water pump impeller got torn up after just a year. And now I know why. Look at all this stuff that came out of the, this is just uh, 
shredded up rocks and pieces of zebra mussels out of Lake Austin. I guess we hit a shallow spot there and a bunch got sucked up into the engine. But I'm sure this is not all of it. I bet a whole bunch of it ended up down there in the bilge as I was draining out these pipes. But you have enough of that go through the uh, that rubber impeller in the water pump, it will rip it right up just like ours did. Man, this is all pieces of shells. This is all zebra mussel. Next is the engine block. That is, I don't know if you can see it, that guy right there is the drain plug on this side. The other side is hard to show on camera, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove that on this side and the other side, let those drain, and we'll be all done with the engine. Uh, I'm not gonna run any antifreeze or anything through it. It's not really getting cold enough for all that. As long as it's drained, this thing should be fine. Um, and then the last thing we gotta do is drain the outdrive, and I'll show you how that works in a sec, but let's get this guy removed. Boom, done with all of the engine stuff. Now let's move on to the outdrive. For the outdrive, we're gonna keep it simple. Um, I turned the battery on. I've got a trim switch here on the transom. And all we're gonna do is lower the outdrive. And if there's any water in there, it'll drain out. There we go, look at that. And I'm gonna leave it there for a minute and then kick it back up maybe six, seven inches for storage. And we should be all set. Normally I would leave the outdrive in the down position when uh, it's in storage. I guess I forgot this last time. I'm gonna go switch the battery off and we're all done. Hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you. Like, share, subscribe. See you next time. Bye, Kobe. See you in a few weeks when Texas decides we need 80 degree weather again in the winter. Lexi, take us back home. You ever do that thing when you're leaving your toys or cars, boats, where you just have to drive around one more time and remind yourself how lucky you are? God dang it, we're lucky. God bless America.